Hey everybody, welcome back. I am a, once again your host, Joe JDF Foster. And today, we're going to be discussing the film Girl's Revenge. But before I get to the movie, I mean, like I say, I'm glad for those who check out my videos and have enjoyed watching them. And I plan to still make them. And as I've stated before, I'd like to be able to discuss something you enjoy, if possible, so send me ideas. Uh, you can reach me on Facebook and Twitter, and on Twitter it's at JDF1321. Now on to, the mo now on to my review. Um, Girls' Revenge is a Taiwanese film, Taiwanese film, sorry. Yellow tongue tied there. From this year, actually, when I looked at the listing on the release date for it. The cast, I wanted to be able to list them for things I might know them for. But when I looked it up, I didn't know any of the cast for any of it. And I think it's because they're so young or for the fact that some of them only have credits for only doing this specific movie. And I can't pronounce the Taiwanese version of the film. I can't pronounce the Taiwanese title of the film. I want to say it's Ha Lo Chanel. Although I don't think that's correct. But anyways, the plot of the film is after, after events at a party caused a sex tape to be released. A transfer student tries to help her friend who's being bullied and humiliated because of the said film. And basically the idea is she tries to get justice for her and figure out who actually released this tape. Now, on to my final notes, as since it's so new, there's nothing really, and there's not really much to go on with the film. Although it did have a lot of good scene, I mean, scenery. And it, um, one, it shows the dangers of underage drinking. Two, the dangers of technology today as it's being used. And it also shows how rumors can be as dangerous as weapons, especially among high school students. And I said, oh, sorry. I meant to say that I'm going over the good in this. When I talked about that and that it was showing the dangers of the drinking technology and the rumors as weapons. Also, it isn't long and drawn out flows nicely from one scene to the next. And it plays out more like a mystery rather than a, rev a simple revenge film. Also, it shows how the hero and villain can be done. I mean, how the hero can become a villain with just one act. Or the villain can do something good with that one act. But it also, at the same time, shows the difference between justice and revenge. The bad thing about this, and I can't really say these are bad things because I'm not really sure. It shows how school or society can overlook something due to how they view the situation as being bad, but not wanting to deal with it because it may cause trouble for them. Which actually does happen in real life. So, again, this could be a reflection on art imitating life. But, um, I list it as a bad because that's not a good thing that it does that, necessarily. And the language 
is only in the natural language for the mo uh, the movie is only done in the is only available in the natural language of which it was filmed, so subtitles are needed if you don't speak the language. Which personally I don't care for because I enjoyed reading the subtitles because it didn't take me out of the movie, it actually got me more into it. Because it meant I was actually reading what they were supposed to be saying in that particular scene, not some modified version of it. Also, the title of the movie could be slightly misleading, but at the same time, it could be seen as accurate. So while these things were listed as bad, they're not really bad. Now, my final grade and recommendation, I could actually watch this movie more than once. I mean, it's not one I would do like over and over and over and over and over again, but I could watch this movie multiple times within a week. But not like back to back type deals. Um, my grade for this movie, though, I do give it an A because it was well thought out, well played type movie. I mean, it was a well done movie and it deserves its grade. And I highly recommend it for anybody to watch. So, until next time. I'm out.